chilling. In this topic, the students will learn about the principles and applications of chilling, refrigeration equipment, the effects on food quality. Chilling is the unit operation in which the temperature of a food is reduced to between 21 and 8. This reduces the rate of biochemical and microbiological changes and hence extends the shelf life of fresh and processed foods. Chilling is often used in combination with other unit operations. Chilling causes minimal changes to sensory characteristics and nutritional quality of foods and, as a result, chilled foods are perceived by consumers as being high quality, healthy, natural, fresh, convenient, and easy to prepare. These are three categories of chilled food according to their storage temp. The lowest cooling temp is between minus 1 to 1 degree for fresh fish or meat. The second temperatures is 0 to 5 degrees for pasteurized meat, milk, pastries and baked goods. Higher temp between 0 to 8 degrees is for fully cooked meats, cheese and fruits. What is the difference between freezing and cooling? Freezing is a method to stop the bacterial action, since the bacteria is inactive in frozen state. Meanwhile, cooling is to slow down the bacterial action, so it will take longer around 1 or 2 weeks for the food to spoil. For the applications of chilling of fresh foods, chilling reduces the rate of enzymatic changes and slow down the respiration. The factors that control the shelf life of fresh food during chilling process are type of food, the part of crop selected, the condition and temp during harvest, the relative humidity and gas composition during storage. Meanwhile, for the applications of chilling for processed foods can be characterized by the degree of microbial risk. Factors that affect the shelf life of processed food during chilling are types of food and other preservative factors, the degree of microbial destruction before chilling, control of hygiene during processing and packaging, properties of the package, temperature during processing, distribution and storage, This is the standard cooling procedures on how to cool the food properly. Food should be cooled quickly. The proper cooling method follows a 2-hour divided by 4-hour rule and happens in two steps. I. Food is to be chilled from 60 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius within 2 hours to prevent the outgrowth of pathogenic spores. I. Then, food is to be cooled from 20 degrees Celsius to 4 degrees Celsius or colder within 4 hours to remain safe to eat. Chilling equipment is grouped by the method used to remove heat into mechanical refrigerators and cryogenic systems. All chillers should lower the temperature of the product as quickly as possible through the critical warm zone where the maximum growth of pathogens and spoilage microorganisms occurs. When used in cooked chill applications, chillers should be capable of reducing the temperature of a 5 cm layer of food from 70 to a core temperature of 3 within 90 minutes, when fully loaded. For solid foods, the chilling medium in mechanically cooled chillers may be air, water, brine or metal surfaces. Batch or static chillers, trolleys or pallets of food are held in the chiller for the required time. Continuous tunnel chillers, foods are moved through the tunnel on a conveyor at a speed that gives the required residence time for adequate cooling. Mechanical chillers, used in refrigerated vehicles, but food should be adequately chilled when loaded onto the vehicle, as the refrigeration plant is only designed to hold food at the required temperature and is not large enough to cool in completely chilled food. Food. A refrigerator designed to reach cryogenic temperatures is called a cryocooler. Cryogenic refrigerators such as those used for cooling the superconducting magnets and particle accelerators. Cryocoolers use a cryogenic fluid as the working substance and employ moving parts to cycle the fluid around a thermodynamic cycle. 
The fluid is typically compressed at room temperature, pre-cooled in a heat exchanger, then expanded at some low temperature. The returning low-pressure fluid passes through the heat exchanger to pre-cool the high-pressure fluid before entering the compressor intake. The cycle is then repeated. Chilling affected the quality of food such as migration of oils from mayonnaise to cabbage and chilled coleslaw, evaporation of moisture from unpackaged chilled meats and cheeses, Retrogradation of starch causes more rapid staling of baked products at refrigeration temperatures than at room temperature. Moisture migration from sandwich fillings to the bread, or from pie fillings or pizza toppings into the pastry or crust, cyneresis in sauces and gravies due to changes in starch thickeners. Freezing In this topic, the students will learn about the principles and applications of freezing, refrigeration equipment, pre-treatment, the effects on food quality. Freezing is the unit operation in which the temperature of a food is reduced below its freezing point and a proportion of the water undergoes a change in state to form ice crystals. The immobilization of water to ice resulting in the lower water activity of the food. During freezing, the temperature reduced below than zero degree. This caused changes from liquid to solid. So, the theory is lower temperature will reduce the spoilage. This is because there is no water for microorganism and chemical reactions. These are the advantages and disadvantages of freezing. Good things about freezing are, it can decrease the water activity and retard the growth of microorganisms. It also can decrease the enzyme activities of the fruits or vegetables. However, freezing also caused changes to color, texture and flavor of food. Also, freezing caused damage to cell by ice crystallization. On the other hand, freezing also require a lot of energy. Other than ice formation, low temperature also caused some changes to proteins and affected the texture of meat or fish. Also, cell structure of fruits might be damaged and nutrients can be lost in drip losses. Other than that, the texture of fruits changes during thawing. Principle of freezing is, it does not sterilize food. At extreme temperature 0 degree or at minus 18 degrees and colder, it stops the growth of microorganisms and slow down the chemical changes of the food. Let's do some revisions. What is the specific heat? The specific heat is the quantity of heat that is gained or lost by products to obtain a unit change in temperature without changing the state whether in liquid or solid. Meanwhile, sensible heat is the heat that is added or removed that did not change the state of the object. The third one is the latent heat. Latent heat is when the addition or removal of heat that caused changes such as liquid become solid or solid become liquid. A BC is the liquid cooling period. Sensible heat is released until it reached nucleation point C. What is nucleation? Nucleation is the first and most important step in ice crystal formation in the freezing process. The temperature of the cooled liquid may be lower than the freezing temp or zero degree. We call this as degree of supercooling. During phase transition period, the latent heat is removed so liquid changed to solid. At this point, nucleation and ice formation occur at the same time. We called it as crystallization. The temperature D to E is constant. We called it as freezing temperature F to G as the solid freezing period. The sensible heat is removed, and the temperature continue to drop until it reach the required temperature. Based on the previous slide, the crystallization starts to occur at point D of the freezing curve. It consists nucleation and crystal growth. Nucleation, the initial process that occurs in the formation of a crystal from a solution, liquid. Homogeneous nucleation occurs when there are no special objects inside the liquid, for example when there is 100% of water. 
Heterogeneous nucleation is the case when the crystallization is aided by the presence of impurities, for example there is dust in the water, and hence with reduced surface energy. Supercooling is the process of lowering the temperature of a liquid below its freezing point without it becoming a solid. It can be achieved in the absence crystallization and yields better quality of food. This shows that crystallization is the undesirable effects of freezing. Freezing point is the temperature at which solid and liquid phases coexist in equilibrium. Freezing time is defined as the time required to lower product temperature from its initial temperature to a given temperature. Meanwhile, the freezing rate is defined as the difference between initial and final temperature of product divided by freezing time. These are the examples of the freezing point varies according to the composition of the food. However, the freezing point is never lower than negative 5 degrees Celsius. Supercooling phenomenon is one of the particular interest in food industry. The storage of fruits and vegetables can be done below than freezing point without the formation of ice crystals. So, the quality of food can be preserved with supercooling rather than freezing. However, to overcome the advantages of freezing, there are two types of freezing process. First, fast freezing. It occurs at minus 25 degrees Celsius or less and ice crystals forms are small and do not damage the food cells. Secondly, slow freezing. Slow freezing occurs at minus 24 degrees Celsius or above. Ice crystals are big and damage the food cells causing loss of texture, nutrients, color and flavor on thawing. Fast freezing is a flash freeze which takes around 5 to 10 minutes process. High amount of cryoprotectant in the fast freezing lessen the chance of ice crystal formation. What is cryoprotectant? It is or some chemical compounds which prevent cells or tissues from damage due to freezing. Another one is slow freezing. It is gradual freeze that takes three hours process. Lower amount of cryoprotectant resulting in the greater chance of ice crystal formation. These two slides show the advantages and disadvantages for fast freezing over slow freezing. You can read these two slides by yourselves. These are the disadvantages of fast freezing over slow freezing. Higher investment in deep freezer or freezing equipment of frozen stores. Thawing problems in some cases. Need more refrigerated display cabinets for retail marketing. Freezing technology at present suitable for upper and middle class. Products are more to dehydration because of large exposed surface. Small fluctuation in storage temperature can result into a large lump. There are four methods of food freezing. 1. Freezing in air. 2. Indirect contact freezing. 3. Immersion freezing. 4. Cryogenic freezing. What is freezing in air? It is a packaged or unpackaged solid food that can be frozen in air at temp between minus 18 to 40 C. There are three types of freezing in air. Still air sharp freezing, blast freezing, fluidized bed freezing. First, still air sharp freezing. It has cold rooms especially constructed to maintain the temp at minus 15 to minus 29 degrees Celsius. The freezing time is 3 minus 72 hour depending on the conditions and the size of product. Second is the air blast freezing. It has a vigorous circulation of cold air that enables freezing occurs at rapid rate. The products are placed on trays in the cold air blowing over the product using fan. The temp of the air is between minus 28 and 46 C and the air velocity is 15 meters per second. Fluidized bed freezers are used to freeze particulate foods such as peas, cut corn, diced carrots, and strawberries. The foods are placed on a mesh conveyor belt and moved through a freezing zone in which cold air is directed upward through the mesh belt and partially lift the particles and it looks like the movement of boiling liquid. This resulted in the excellent heat transfer between air and the product. Then we have indirect contact freezing. It is the freezing process where the product and refrigerant are separated by a barrier. The packaged material also can become the barrier for indirect contact freezing. Plate freezers, air blast freezer and freezer for liquid foods are the examples of the indirect contact freezing. Direct contact freezing is designed to achieve rapid freezing process. It is operating with direct contact between refrigerant and the product. Therefore, it is more efficient since there is no barrier. 
The examples of the direct contact freezing are fluidized bed system, immersion and cryogenic freezing systems. What is the immersion freezing? It is a direct contact freezing process when a pack or unpacked food is frozen by immersion in a liquid. The liquid can be a propylene glycol, a glycerol, C-sodium chloride, D mixtures of salt and sugar. This method is generally used to freeze canned citrus juice concentrate, poultry, and to freeze fish and shrimp. Cryogenic freezing is a direct contact freezing system. It using low boiling point liquid gases to freeze food products. Liquid nitrogen or carbon dioxide is sprayed directly onto small food items such as soft fruit and prawns. Due to the liquid's extremely low temperatures and 780C respectively freezing is almost instant. I have come to the end of my presentation.